I have found a tool called what the diff that will generate the summary of all the changes that you have done whenever we create a pull request on the github and it's absolutely free to use also there is a paid version but you can use it freely first of all you need to sign up with github I have already signed up before so it is directly taking me to the repositories list if you haven't signed up before then it will just ask you to sign up after this you need to enable this for your repository I have this Lara tips official tips and tricks repository and I have already enabled for this repository but you can also click here on enable and for any other repositories either public or private so here in the tips and trick we can see the configuration over here and after you enable it will actually show this page by default only this option is clicked but i would suggest you to check this one also because it will automatically update all the descriptions that you have previously after you push a new commit to the same branch so now let me just go over here you can see here there is no pull requests over here but now let me go here in that repository and here i have done some changes so here here is this if I just zoom it for you guys here I have just added this published at column and this is nullable over here in a migration now let me add this before that let me create a branch git checkout branch hotfix what the diff so let me hit that and now let me just write whatever the commit that I want to write so like this and hit and commit and now let me just git push after that I can copy this one and paste it over here to create the pull request you can see here i have added this only okay i haven't written anything in the description this is just a title now let me create a pull request since we have already enabled this if i just go back since i have already enabled it for this repository over here it will automatically generate description for us now you can see here this is such an amazing tool you can see here, added a new column to the posts table called publish that and the type of this column is timestamp and it can be nullable this is the best description that you need for the changes that i have done over here it saves a lot of time for us to write the description now let's say we want to do some more changes then we would just do the changes and write the new commit so let me do that also over here let me go over here in the save user controller you can see here i have just commented this out so here let me add this and let's say comment on the okay and commit it and let me git push like this i have pushed to the same branch you can see here now if i come here then you can see here a comment this thing has been added but this is added by the github not by this what the diff but if i just go over here in the pull request and again click on this if i refresh it then it won't show so i had to do it like this currently it has not updated it will take some time in order to update the description so after some time i'll come back so i waited for around 10 minutes but it did not update but previously when i was recording it was updating so let me try it one more time with another file and let me commit this database cedar over here let me just do this and let's say cedar like this commit and let me just again git push like this now let me again come here then you can see here the cedar which is added by the github not by the what the diff so here let me refresh the page and you can see here it added this one so here users are created with a random number of logins between one and nine instead of two and four the original value and i think it is a pretty good tool we don't have to write so many things in the description it automatically generates it for us so what do you think about this tool let me know in the comment section below so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye